Hey, I'm Kenneth Weichta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So today we're talking about learning to see, or maybe more like learning to notice. It takes effort until you kind of grow into getting good at it, but it takes effort to learn how to see and how to notice, how to see things other people don't see, how to notice and think that would make an interesting photograph or I just, even just the act of noticing it, most people are just walking right past it. And I have a good example. So like I did a talk a few weeks ago about light and how that one bit of light on that barn, I wasn't photographing the barn, I was photographing the light on the barn. The light was my subject. I was feeding my friend's dog and every time I come in through the garage entryway, the dog sits at the top of the steps, which are around a little corner, and waits for me. And I always know, if I walk up those steps and peer to my right into the mirror, I'll see her. And she'll be looking at me just like I'm looking at her. And it's a wonderful little moment, and I do that a lot. And then one day I went over, and the sun was shining, and the sun was creating a shadow. And as I walked up those staircase, and I looked over to my left, there on the far wall, I could see the dog's shadow. And I'm like, I have to photograph that. I have to photograph the little shadow of this little dog waiting for somebody to come home. And so I did. And I love that little photo. It's a simple example of how we see, how we notice, and it's a little story of my world. I'm visiting a friend's house, I'm taking care of her dog, and the dog looks forward to seeing the humans return. I always joke that they see us as the, the feed people. Hey, it's, it's, the, it's the food guy. That's probably what they see, that's probably what they think. But the dog's a little cute dog named Xena, and she looks forward to getting some attention, going for a walk, getting some head rubs, who doesn't? And that shadow picture tells the story without ever seeing the dog. I'll put a link to a post below where you can see the shadow picture and then you can see a picture of the dog. But the dog picture, there's a lot of pictures of dogs. But the shadow picture is a unique one because it's just the way the light was coming in that day as I happened to be coming into the house and that little shadow on that wall, this little dog waiting. Sometimes the smallest little stories make for grand photographs. And sometimes they just make for small photographs. But even that is, they're the photographs that tell our story, right? They're the photographs that are how we document our world and say, this is who I am, this is what I see, this is what I did today. And it's a part of a collection of these are the photographs, these are the experiences that make up my world. And I guess define who we are, really. The photographs that we take, I have students who say, I wanna photograph stuff, what should I photograph? I say, photograph the things that you love. Photograph the things that matter to you. Because that's what matters. I've had f photographers say, you know, if I get one frame out of a roll of 36, I'm doing good. And I'm like, what? If I don't have 30 or 35 out of a raw of 36, something's wrong. And it's probably wrong with the camera. But they're like, how do you get so many? And I go, I don't photograph things I don't want. They go out on a Sunday afternoon for two hours and burn a roll of film on lamp posts and fire plugs, and then they come home and they say, yeah, it's a bunch of nothing. I know, because you photographed a bunch of nothing. If you photograph a bunch of nothing, you end up with a bunch of nothing. I don't have to get film out of a camera. Here's a Leica R8, and it's on number 18. It's been a few weeks since I bought it, and it's one of those things where it's like, when I get to it, I'll get to it. I photograph the things that matter to me. I don't photograph things that I don't want photos of, because then you'll have a whole bunch of photos that aren't keepers. Photograph the things that you love. Photograph the things that matter to you. On that day that I went to feed the dog, 
the little dog mattered to me and the shadow is what told the story of waiting for the visitor to arrive. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's a good light.